Yes, sir. Here we are. Me and Peanut. Anyway, I've been trying to make this video for days, and the wind is... I don't know what it is. Jersey Shore, the wind has just been whipping for like four or five days. This is my fourth try, this video. Peanut is getting very impatient. Um, he thinks this whole video thing sucks. Anyway, um, so this winter, uh, I was sleeping in my, uh, fire mosquito, uh, hammock, and, uh, my, I got tired of that thing, went back to my Hennessy, and, um, I got really annoyed at the integrated bug net, you know, I was like, I don't need an integrated bug net in the winter. So, I decided to get a hammock without a bug net. Um, I wanted a double layer hammock, so if my son comes along and steals my pad, um, or steals my underquilt, I can use a pad. And then finally I wanted a longer hammock, um, 11 foot, because I'd been reading that uh, 11 foot hammocks are very forgiving, you know, with regard to IDLA and everything. So I looked around, um, looked at Papa, Papa Smurf's dream hammock, uh, Warp on a Traveler, and, but this link was offering a hammock forms discount, so I gave them a call and I said, would you consider making me a double layer since they didn't know. Uh, they didn't offer one at the time, and they should. They were thinking about adding one. Um, and Brian said he'd do me a prototype, and he would uh, ship it to me. And um, if I didn't like it, ship it back on their dime. Otherwise, pay for it. Uh, well, that sounded like a pretty sweet deal. So um, anyway, I got the hammock, and uh, me and Peanut have been having some great times with it. Using to wear my little penny. My apologies for the sunglasses. I just went to the eye doctor and I can't see doodly. I can't see anything. So anyway, this is a 1.1 ounce uh, rips out nylon with a digicam pattern the near 30. Very soft fabric, very nice to the touch, very comfortable against the skin, and uh, I like it. Me like. Oh, oh. Uh, so the length is uh, 11 foot, like I said, and uh, chill, bro, chill. You're part of the show here, all right? People want to hear you grunting through the whole video, okay? So you just go ahead and grunt. So. Um, I ordered a 11-foot uh, um, hammock, 60 inches wide, 60 inches wide, that's right. Um, it has a single pad opening, which I can never find because it's camouflaged. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. <laughs> anyway, it'll fit a 28-inch pad, but you can fold, you know, a larger pad in there. 28-inch pad. Excuse me. 28 inch pad fairly floats in this thing, you know, because it's so wide, 60 inches. But um, okay. So weight. Um, Brian at Button the Sling says it's about 12 ounces. I haven't uh, actually weighed it, but uh, um, I'm assuming that to be true. Um, I ordered the uh, hammock without any suspension. They do offer suspension options, but uh, I decided I'd make my own. Um, suspension since I had some cool Dutch wear stuff. Alright, so let's just talk about comfort real quick. Um, you know, in, in my other hammock, sometimes I fiddle for, you know, like in the buyer, it takes me five, ten minutes to find the right leg because it's a very short hammock, you know, it's uh, less than nine feet, I'm not sure exactly. Now the Hennessy is, I mean, it's comfortable, you know, but neither, 
this thing, all I got to do is lay down and I fall asleep. I don't have any struggle finding a sweet spot or anything else. I lay down and I go to bed. Um, all right, so Peanut wants to get down. He's very annoyed. Isn't that right, my little baby boy? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's take a tour of this hammock. What you looking for, Peanut? What are you looking for? He's looking for food. He's on the prowl. So, like I said, I, um... I have my own suspension. This thing just comes with a, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, continuous loop running through the channel. Um, so I made my own uh, ridge line, which is, um, that's a mini Dutch ridge line binder, 1.75 millimeter zingit, and um, Dutch hooks. Or what are those? Whoopee hooks on there. Um, now, as you can see, my trees are very far apart. So, I had to add a continuous loop here to my whoopies and put that on. Uh, these are my Hennessy hammock uh, or Hennessy uh, tree straps um, with a loop at both ends. So, um, like I said, this hammock, very comfortable. It's a keeper for sure. My wife interrupted my uh, video review of hammock to eat an ice cream cone. And there's the dog what eating doing? the ice cream. What are you doing? Oh, please don't take my picture. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got interrupted by the uh, wife who, uh, whoa, I can't see again. Who did the usual look. She took one look. She goes. She says, is that a new hammock? <laughs> I said, yeah, that's a new hammock. She goes, how many hammocks do you have? I was like, oh, Jesus, not this conversation again. Anyway, um, so she, uh, she and my dog took over the hammock while they ate their ice cream. Um, so then I had to put on the underquill. Um, so let's take a quick tour. Um, where was I? Oh yes, right here. Now here's the pad opening. Um, nice and big. Um, the only thing I had to say to Brian was this stitching here. I would reinforce it with a few more stitches. That that would be my uh, um, just about my only recommendation on these stress points right here because uh, I'm not saying these don't hold. I'm no seamstress. Um, I just think visually a few more stitches might be more comforting to the customer. And then. Um, Ah, yes, over here. Um, just so I'm not a cheerleader for button a sling. Um, when I got it, the continuous loop, um, the, uh, what do you call that thing? The uh, taper was buried inside the channel, so I couldn't see it. And uh, so I had to work it around to get the uh, unburied part out so I could put the uh, whoopee hook on it. And that's when I see that somebody didn't, they didn't start their uh, berry. They had to go long. A little piece of thread hanging out there. Should have went longer on that. Other than that, this is one, <clears throat> other than that, this is one comfy hammock. Um. Like I said, the fabric extremely soft to the touch. No problems whatsoever in uh, in getting a lay. I don't flop 
I don't do anything. I just get in and lay down. And uh, I'm off in La La Land in no time. Um, so that's my review of the Button Sling Prototype Double Layer 1.1 ounce ripstop nylon digi camo blah 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 blah. My hair, my hair. My hair. Messed up my hair. Forgot my hair net. Where's my hair net? Where's my hair net? One other thing I forgot was, um, you know, this wasn't readily uh, apparent to me, but, um, you know, there, some might view this as a negative, but, um, I just say it's something different. And that is, when you got an 11 foot hammock, you know, with your ridge line there, then that's going to be a bigger area than, say, a 9 foot hammock. It's just, so you have to hang, you know, the ridge line is going to be higher up off the ground. Um, now, since this hammock is uh, 128 inches, I got the ridge line set at. Uh, 106 inches, which is approximately 83%, which is the rule, I believe. Um, anyway, you know, it's something to get used to when you have the uh, higher ridge line. Now, I did experiment with my uh, hammock gear, Cuban fiber tarp, and uh, what I ended up doing was uh, lengthening the ridge line to like 115, something like that. Um, which made it go lower. The uh, the ridge line went lower, and I could pitch the tarp lower. Um, but if you ask me, the gains in comfort, etc., that you get from an 11-foot hammock far outweigh the inconveniences of having a higher and a longer ridge line. You know, like I could see some people if they got an 11-foot uh, hammock might have to get a bigger tarp. In my case, the hammock gear Cuban fiber is 10 feet 10 inches. And uh, as long as this thing is underneath the weather protection, I should not be getting wet. And I tested that, and, and that's a fact. I don't get wet. It rained like cats and dogs the other night, one of those great nights where uh, the forecast said no rain, and next thing you know, I'm getting wet. Um, so I just wanted to add that little uh, detail about the ridge line because uh, it is a change, you know, going from a shorter hammock to a larger, a uh, longer hammock. One other thing I wanted to add, just one. Um, I went with a 60-inch uh, wide. Um, I don't think I needed it that wide. Uh, it sure is comfy, but. Um, you know, Brian was telling me that, uh, you know, comfort in a hammock is related more to length than to width. Um, and if I was trying to, if I was trying to shave grams or something, I would definitely consider getting, um, you know, maybe a 55. Uh, I think the Weight Weenie Micro, it's, what is it, like a 50, 52 inch wide hammock? Um, so, you know, that's one thing I might consider next time is uh, I might try something uh, a little less wide. Later.